Hi guys, Glory Hunter back with another game haul, and it's a big one. We've got quite a few today uh, from various trips and outings that I've been on. Been picking up a few here and there, and we've got enough now to do a decent kind of game pickup pick up haul. Um, for you to look at quite a few different systems and bits and bobs to show you as well. So let's see what we've been picking up. So first off, uh, a couple of weeks back, me and the missus um, took my mum and dad down to Skeggy for the day. And just to relax and chill out and while we were there I had a few minutes to browse around the kind of uh, shops and what have you and looked in the local CEX and bit and picked up a few bits found this in a charity shop um, on the OG it had a sticker over here so it's painkiller on the OG uh, got it for a quid uh, I had a quick look on CEX it's like a 20 pound game so quite happy with that, however when I got it back and took the sticker off, it's, I don't know if you can see that with the focus, it's an NTSC game, so it's an American game, uh, obviously it doesn't work on my Xbox and it doesn't have its manual but it's there so I'm going to keep it in the collection for now, see if I can find a PAL copy, pretty sure it came out on PAL as well, let me know. Um, if it, if it has come out on the PAL, if anyone wants to swap it for a PAL copy that would be awesome um, but I'm going to keep an eye out and it's there for now not that I can play it but it does look an awesome game then we like I say we nipped over to the CEX got a couple of titles, uh, nothing major, got Prisoner of War for a quid on the OG obviously boxed complete I remember a friend playing it on the PS2 back in the day and uh, quite an interesting game, you have to escape various prisons and stuff so looking at getting interesting to see how that works out and one I don't know much about, not really heard of it only 75p so I'm definitely picking this up and that is First to Fight kind of a, an American army game again, box complete it looks like an old EA box FIFA box, I just have FIFA here, so I need a, a case swap, but I think I've got some spare cases anyway. And the last one we got from there on the PS2, uh, another Guncom game, or what it's called, Guncom, Guncom 2. So a gun, light gun shooting game, uh, it's two quid. Uh, it's got quite a lot of interesting things shooting, like mech robots and what have you. Um, ghostly Samurai, Legion's Fun Dead, Monster Robots, Warriors, Assassins. So it's got a bit of a story mode. Obviously complete again. Um, so looking forward to cracking and blowing the dust off the gun in some more light gun games. I do like my light gun games. I think you got them all, then you find some more. So while we're in Skeggy, obviously we went in the arcades. Um, we got these that I took a picture of for you to see. These two massive, huge arcades, massive screens of classic Pac-Man and Space Invaders. They looked absolutely amazing. Uh, don't know why I didn't actually have a go on them. But I really should have done so any old school retro fans want to check out the arcades in Skeg look out for these they were in a couple of the arcades so well worth having a, a blast on if you like a massive screen of your old Pac-Man and Space Invaders go check them out so then I've seen on Facebook from the guys at Game Changers um, they would got some stuff traded in uh, on the OG and the one I'd seen at first was Stoll's Battlefront 2. So I messaged him, he had a few more as well uh, that I was interested in. It was like, I messaged him to see how much they were. It was like £18. I had a quick browse on CX and that, roughly the same price. Um, and he said if I buy this one, it was going to give me these two free as well. So I was like, yeah, definitely come down and have a look. And we picked up small bits while we were there. So the deal I was originally after, I chose getting up, even though I have it, I haven't got a manual. And I checked they'd got the manual, which it has, so now I have a manual for that. It's only like a 50p title anyway. Um, American McGree presents Scrapland, a game I'd not heard of or seen before. Looks quite interesting, you play kind of a robot and yeah, humans aren't allowed in this kind of robot city and I'd not really played much more than that, just giving it a test, it is complete, so can they play that at some point, got that, that down at two quid. Uh, like I say, giving them two free for picking up, there we are, for picking up Star Wars Battlefront, which is what we initially went for, complete, 
good condition. So I was happy to get that. And the other bits we picked up while we're there, he actually had the original Battlefront. So we have it back in the collection after CX messed me about. Um, got this up at seven quid. Again, complete. So we have both Battlefront games now in the collection again. So that's good. Uh, we found Destroy All Humans on the OG for three quid. Obviously complete. Uh, pretty good conditions as well. And then we found one on the PS2, Kill Switch. And this will put it a quid with an exclusive SOCOM 2 and Siphon Filter Mega Strain bonus disc. So kind of a, a demo disc in there as well, which is there, is complete, and the demo disc. And that's in great nick. So we've got these six games. So we did me a deal, £31.50 worth of games, and did me for £25. So massive thanks to you guys. It's a, a big help and boost in the collection. Um, so great place. Again, go check them out in uh, Burton. I'll put the links down again. Um, great guys, go have a chat with them. Got some good stuff always posting on Facebook. Check them out on Facebook, see what they're getting in. Um, yeah, just awesome, awesome store. So go check them out again. So while we're in Burton, we also went and had a look around the other shops while we were there. Nick back over to the cash converters and found one title again on the OG. I'm going to go for that full set, I think. Uh, Spartan Tote Warrior, 50p. Can't go wrong with 50p. All complete. So there's another one. And while we were there, also in the cabinet they had some memory cards. So we found a black PS1 memory card, one of the only colours I don't actually have. That was just a quid. And then two PlayStation 2 memory cards. So standard black 8 meg, that was a quid. And an 8 meg kind of blue memory card, which I don't have. So that's nice to add in the collection. And that was a quid as well. So three quid, three memory cards. It's going to come in useful for all these games we're picking up. Keep them game saves. Whew. Still a few to go. So we also nicked over to the CX there as well. I've got one 360 title, a game I've been looking after for looking at for a while. Um, I had a bit of credit, so I've used that up. I think I traded a couple of bits in. I can't remember now. Uh, six quid of Orcs and Men. Now I didn't know too much about it going in. It's obviously complete. Um, but when I started up and playing the content tutorial. Play as an orc or two orcs, kind of a goblin and an orc, and the smaller goblin is actually sticks from the sticks games that came out on the Xbox One recently. Um, so it's the same character. So interested to get in on this. I guess it's kind of a prequel to that, and just learning a bit more of the lore of the, uh, of the land. So that's pretty cool. Then we picked up a bunch of PSP games to add to the collection. So building on that a little bit more found a Dungeon Siege Throne of Agony for 4 quid. Again, looks like a nice kind of dungeon crawl RPG type game. Get complete. Give that a blast. And then someone must have literally just traded in their entire Metal Gear back catalogue on the PSP. So we got three, which I think is all three on the system. So Metal Gear Portable Ox for 3 quid. First one, complete. Supposed to be one of the best games on the system in everybody's top 10. It always comes number one. So looking forward to playing that. And obviously Metal Gear Portal Ops Plus. So the kind of sequel, if you like, the extra bits. Let's pick that up for four quid. And while I was looking at these, there's actually a guy looking over my shoulder like, am I going to buy him? He's going to kind of nab them off me. But we picked them up. And one I had seen before, the Metal Gear Digital Graphic Novel for a fiver. So the most expensive one, and I don't know if it's an actual game, but it's I think it's the, the kind of a graphic novel of the original, well not original Metal Gear, but the original PlayStation 1 Metal Gear, the Metal Gear Solid. Um, so you get to watch the kind of story unfold in a graphic novel kind of way. I think you can kind of make choices in the game as well, or game, however it plays, um, and zoom in and look at bits, I don't know, I've not really played it properly, but it kind of looks alright. And on a trip into my local CEX, uh, again to try and trade some bits in, uh, we found this on the Wii, it's Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templars, 
a director's cut for just 150. So this came out on the original on the PlayStation, and I remember a friend having it and watching him play it. I think I borrowed it off a bit, off him for a bit, played it. A really interesting, good game. I actually bought the sequel, and I have that, the Broken Sword 2. It's a really good game, and I have all of the Broken Sword as well on the various consoles. Uh, so great series to get into. This being the director's court, you get to play kind of new sections with Nico, the kind of French chick that he meets over there in Paris. And just, I think it's, it's really going to work well with the Wii, with obviously pointing, being a point and click, click um, point and click game. I'm talking about getting out of. Um, it's, I think it's really going to work well being able to point with your. Rem me remote so looking forward to playing this again and actually playing the whole story because I don't think I've finished it myself so yeah really excited to get into that and while we're in town we went round to the fast cash shop and picked up this which a lot of people have been talking about on the Wii and for two quid we got Zack and Wiki quest for Barbarous Treasure so like I say a lot of people have been saying this is a pretty decent game kind of a hidden gem maybe Looks kind of interesting, so we'll give that a blast as well. That's a little stack there. Now we have one more to show you. I need a quick sweep. Mm. Now this last game I got, I actually got from a fellow YouTuber after watching his channel. He had a couple of bits he was offering up for sale or trade if he, and then if he's going to come to a um an expo or whatever you um, so I hit him up sent him a message uh, asking how much he was selling him for he sent me a, a price and offered me a deal um, it's a pretty good deal so I thought I'd take that managed to uh, get off old 2T UK cheers mate a sealed copy for the Xbox One Deadpool a game I've been after for a little while uh, it's the price was kind of high as I was looking at it. It's slowly coming down now, but I got it a bit cheaper than what you can get it in the stores. So it's still sealed. It's a brand new copy. I'm going to open it now. So I want to play it. So I'm guessing there's no manual. We don't get manuals with these games anymore. But there we are. There's our disc. Nice waffled disc. Yeah, look forward to playing this. Do like Deadpool. Um, so it should be quite funny. So, cheers for sending that, mate. I'm not much of a beer lager drinker, but I do like a whiskey. So to you, my friend, mm, thanks for sending that. So yeah, all in all, not a bad haul. A lot of games there for the OG collection. I'm trying to get that full set. So keeping our eyes out for them cheap deals. Um, we're gonna build on that. So subscribe if you want to see me collecting that full set of OG Xbox games. Hopefully it won't take too long. We're getting a fair bit of credit now as well. So we can pick up some of them high-end titles. Um, I also again get some uh, ones on the uh, Dreamcast as well. That Grandia 2 I'm hoping to look out for. I'm going to maybe venture to the CX online to get that. Now, I know a lot of people have bad experiences with that. So... Um, I'm not owing out for much, hopefully it won't get too damaged in the post, uh, but we'll see what kind of condition we get, and we'll be showing that in a future video hopefully. Uh, hit some like if you've enjoyed this, um, any comments, bang down in the comment box, played any of these games, got any of these games, what were your favourite games from this selection today, let me know, we'll have a bit of a chat about it. Uh, thanks again again, oh, thanks again again, thanks again to you for sending that game, uh, do me a seller mate, so that's going in the collection, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys, take care.